was for entertainment purposes only. And if you want true legal advice, contact your own lawyer. There's a man in Southern California that is in love with Marilyn Monroe for some reason, and and he just can't help himself, but he wants the Marilyn Monroe statue that is sitting on top of uh, Four Ladies of Hollywood statue is what it's called. And that's at the corner of Hollywood and La Brea Boulevard. And it shows him. Wait a minute. I don't think it. Wait a minute. It might have been nighttime. It shows them uh, going up there. I don't know if they're replacing it or what they're doing, but he climbs up there and gets a hacksaw. Now, you got to see this. This is not like someplace you can just go and grab it. You're going to have to get a really high ladder or a, uh, you know, one of those, what do you call those lifts? to get up to it, but he climbs up there somehow, use the hacksaw, cuts it down, and someone even says that they see him doing it and watch him do it. Now, that's what's just ironic to me is, you know, uh, it, it's 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 interesting that, oh, yeah, someone's up there hacksawing the Marilyn Monroe. Maybe you should call the cops. I'm not quite sure. And, and this guy is kind of an interesting gentleman, um, for lack of a better description, because he also was convicted. He pled no contest to felony vandalism for smashing President Trump's Walk of Fame star. I remember that with case. With a pickaxe. Yes. So this guy is like in the business of uh, defacing um, you know, memorial statues or, or whatever you want to call them. Um, we call that a half court low where I gr- grew up. Yeah. Oh, they're, like they're running a half court low on motor oil in the old brain there. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the question. <laughs> Here's I didn't what's... get it. I thought you said half court. So I'm going like no, basketball. No, no, no. <laughs> no, we're calling. He's a half court low. So here's or um, this is what's interesting. He pleads no contest to felony, grand theft, and vandalism. We only have one minute, Todd. Tell us really quick what no contest means. No contest means you're not admitting the facts of the case, but you are basically saying, yeah, if it went to trial, there's enough there to convict me. I'm not going to contest this. I'll take it. You preserve your defenses for any civil suits. Go to the website, radiolawtalk.com. That's radiolawtalk.com.